Julie Pierce to a lot of people and even to me for a long time seemed not really all that powerful. Well, after watching Karate Kid 4 again, sadly, and figuring out how strong she is thanks to the help of my go Uberim, I've come to the conclusion that Julie Pierce is unironically one of the more powerful characters and her strength may surprise you. Now, Julie Pierce is the second student of Miyagi-Do. She joins 10 years after Daniel does and we see her easily learn the same techniques Karate Kid 1 Daniel could use. However, it's shown that she might even surpass that version of Daniel in skill due to her learning how to fight blind, which only a post Karate Kid 1 Daniel was learning. Plus, she's able to use that Miyagi focus state which everybody could basically use. Now, as for her raw stats, we have feats like Season 2 Dimitri being able to kick Injured Hawk through a trophy case, which was calced at over 53 joules, which is enough force to destroy a wall. Julie should rise from the Alpha Elite Goon who survived crashing through a structure while falling, and this feat was calculated to be at 129 joules which Julie easily upscales from, meaning she'd be over 2 times more durable than Season 2 Hawk, and even multiple times stronger than the Karate Kid 1 kids, whose best feat is shown to be at like 49 joules. It's crazy to say, but Julie's attack potency is unironically enough to beat down all of the Karate Kid 1 and Season 1 kids of Cobra Kai, and also surpassing the likes of Movie 1 Daniel. You might be able to say her learning to fight blind could help her even press the likes of Movie 2 Daniel in skill, but we don't know if she exactly knows the drum technique, which is basically the evolution from fighting blind, if that makes sense. I think it's safe to say that she should be able to beat Season 2 Dimitri, however she wouldn't be able to beat the likes of Hawk, Tori, Sam, or Robbie, or Miguel. In Season 2 specifically, and the reason for that is because Miguel is able to break a steel railing at 200 joules. But she's definitely above Dimitri by Season 2 in terms of strength and also skill probably. Now, let's talk about her speed. This category may not seem that interesting initially, but believe me, this may surprise some of you. In Karate Kid 4, Julie legit reacts to a car that moves at 65 miles per hour, and as we know, cars are 56% faster than humans, dividing that by 100 gives you 36.4, making Julie's combat slash reaction speed at over 101 miles per hour. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, the car wasn't going full speed. But this calc is based on the speed that the car is going at. And Julie just purely reacting to it at such a close range. And to compare her speed to the rest of the verse, if you want to say the Karate Kid 1 kids got subsonic speed because Daniel could catch flies, Julie would be over 20 times faster than that kid Daniel. Now, unfortunately, she doesn't have the strength to keep up with the Season 4 characters or even the Karate Kid 2 and 3 characters, but damn, I would have never thought Julie was slamming all of Season 1 and the Karate Kid 1 cast. Another person that can slam 84 Johnny. Have a good day, everybody.